please. Just for the best of my new song. Hey, child, the ghetto. This is the rumor report. So my news is real. On the Breakfast Club. Allegedly. Ooh, honey, it's ghetto up in here. So allegedly, Meg Thee Stallion spotted with a new potential boo. Uh, okay, so she went to a wedding over the weekend. She was seen sitting next to Belgian soccer player Romelu Lukaku. What? <laughs> Romelu Lukaku. I'm sure that's not how you say it. That last is name. literally is Lukaku. <laughs> that's, I'm sure that's not. But get, I'm a rock with you. <laughs> All right, so uh, his teammate was getting married, Lataro Martinez. And um, oh yeah, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm on my, I'm on my ass today. You bilingual. Yeah. You bilingual. Yes, yeah, yeah. you already know what's up. I heard you speak three languages this morning. <laughs> yeah, four actually: Baltimore, Asian, Spanish, and um, African. Okay, yes, mm-hmm. period. <laughs> African. Okay, there hasn't been any com- uh, confirmation whether Meg was his date or not. But y'all know how people speculate. They see you next to somebody that mm-hmm. ain't mm-hmm. your boyfriend, and apparently, party was not there. Um, they were sitting a little. Uh, cozy, I guess. I, I mean, I'm not sure. Now, if you Google Romelu, there are different stories swarming around about him and his dating life, uh, whether he has a longtime girlfriend or a wife or not. But I don't really know him, so I don't know if that's true or not. But we'll keep our eyes out for any updates on this one. Or, or could it just be she got invited to the wedding, he got invited to the wedding, and then when they made seats, they put them just at the same table. And they had they wasn't holding hands. They weren't. No, they didn't walk in with each other. No, they, they, we didn't see the walk in. We didn't see the hands being held under the table or nothing like that. So I'm not. That's why I say I I don't know. But you know how Megan is very flirty. She's so cute mm-hmm. and she always smiling, always showing them little teeth. You know, she mm-hmm. always <laughs> like she always doing that. <laughs> so if somebody caught Jesus, that, you yes. know, like because she was just doing that standing next to Jay Z when he was trying to talk talk to her. I don't know what how he was trying to say. They was at Renaissance and he was like trying to talk and she was just like <laughs> like she always do that. You know what I mean? So. You know, I don't know if that's just like I guess her friendly way of like, yeah, like okay. sitting next to somebody. You that's got to be annoying to be a woman knowing every yeah. time you're standing next to somebody, it's a rumor. Well, sitting next to somebody, yeah. same yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. poor Megan, she just got to always smile, uh, no matter what. Because if she looks thank, then somebody gonna say she ain't want to be sitting next to nobody. But mm-hmm. I don't know. But maybe it was after that poem that party did. Maybe that turned off. It, it was a long poem. It was long and drawn out. <laughs> remember it was. Remember it was. Well, man, shut up. it's oh, not man. funny. All right, it's not. Funny. <laughs> It's actually <laughs> a my good guy poem. Party, man. Salute Just the party. Is crazy. All right. <laughs> Raven Simone says everyone she's dated had to have an NDA signed. And when I started she dating, got audio. I- all right, damn, damn, <laughs> Red, that guy, damn. Raven's like, please stop reading. Please, <laughs> please <he's> go- <laughs> that is so messed up, yo. Yo, all right, go ahead, Red. Play the audio, yo. To get damn. people to sign um, NDAs. NDAs. And it took me a while to get, wrap my head around it because it's just very impersonal, but someone in our position needs to do that. At what point in the date or the relationship do you say, uh, I have some paperwork for you? Before the naughty times come. But, but, so, r- no, but, serious. Like right before naughty time comes. So you have, you have uh, paperwork on your nightstand? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Not always on the nightstand. It might happen the day, like right. the day before or whatever. But, Damn. Wow. You wow. make your men sign NDAs, Jess? I'm not going to lie. I started. I okay. started to do that. Yes, I did. Um, actually, the guy that I'm dating now, yes, absolutely. What's he has his name? an NDA. It doesn't matter. How, how do you, how NDA, do you, have, you need an NDA. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> how do you have that conversation? <laughs> like, and, and, and how early do you start? Okay, so what do you mean? How do you how do you have conversations? You think you don't speak English? How does that? No, he's saying mean? how do we have that conversation? Yeah, what's yo, wrong with him? Oh, I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. Yo, he keep him, going. Jess. Like he's not. Anyway, yes. So it, it comes into play when when I feel like we're exclusive, or I feel like I'm going to be exclusive with mm-hmm. you. I, I I like I sat and told him over dinner. I was like, listen, um, you know, being that I'm just hilarious, not I do a lot of things that I don't want to be out there or whatever. You have to sign this paperwork. You want to be serious with me? And he was like, what? For a minute, it was like he was caught off guard. But then he signed that damn paperwork. Okay. And that's just what it is. You know, It. You know. You, you have to protect yourself. He signed yourself. it without a lawyer present? Yeah, absolutely. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, he stupid, signed it yo. without a lawyer. And uh, I mean, he read it. He understands. I don't like, know that's What it's legal. about. Please. <laughs> I'm serious. Please. Well, I, I absolutely agree with Raven. Um, You just never know. And then we never know what the hell going on with Raven. So, you know, she. I, I like that. I agree with the NDA thing, though, mm-hmm. because, man, everybody's looking for attention nowadays. Everybody yeah, wants clout. You just don't know. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yep. You're right. I make everybody sign. Even friends, people I'm just getting to know, stuff like that. Like, whatever. Like, homegirls, other people in the industry have gotten mm-hmm. NDAs from me. Home, mm-hmm. You want to be homegirl? All right, cool. You want to hang around me? That's what you're going to do, because mm-hmm. I don't do things that I want everybody to know. So, uh-huh. boom. Nikki opens up about being on the Pound Town remix. 
Oh, I can't wait to hear this because, I mean, you know, she always snap. But it's interesting to me because this is what she said about Sexy Red, the girl who sings the song. I met with Sexy Red and I found her to be so down to earth and sweet. We don't have audio for this, so I'm reading it. I couldn't hear myself on the song at first, but once I let go and decided to just have fun, uh, I ended up loving it and it, it came out very nice or whatever. Can we hear some of the song? Because she actually absolutely killed it. Like a hundred bricks, get back on my lips. I'm is that right. the Vagina Brown, Poom Poom Pink song? Yeah, that is. I mean, that. Vagina, Mookie yeah. Brown? Yeah. The, what do you say? Poom um, Poom Pink. My booty vagina. pink. I mean, my booty hole brown. There you go. Yeah, that. that. Mookie Brown, Vagina Pink. Yeah, yes. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. At first, like Nikki said, she couldn't see herself on it. I, I couldn't see Nikki on that either. I couldn't see anybody on it but Sexy Red. But <laughs> I'm glad that Nikki actually did it. Uh, and then Sexy Red said thank you to Nikki and that people who call her mean are just, you know, like, because she's actually really cool. So she she, she was upset. I don't know why people call her mean and all that. <laughs> all right. You better tread lightly, girl. All right. That's nice. I like that. That's just with the mess. Now, do you have to sign an NDA if you put uh, everything that you do in a rap? No. I don't think so. Huh? Why would you? Like, if you everything's sexual, if you talk about all the sexual stuff you do in a rap, you know, would you still make a person sign an NDA about what y'all do in the bedroom? I mean, no, that's funny that you actually said that because mm -hmm. in, in Nikki's verse in the song, she actually talks about hitting the split on the D and during missionary and all mm -hmm. of that. And her husband, uh, Kenny, actually confirmed that that is true, that she actually be doing that. Mm. Yeah. So okay. I, mm -hmm. I maybe the NDA work on the music, maybe it don't because it could be fabricated. You know, people rap about things that they don't do. People sing about things that they do do and all of that. So you just that's never true. know how to speculate if all any right. of it is true. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, that is just with the mess. Up next, we got the People's Choice Mixes, The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.